So I'm Andrea Sequin. I'm the Director of Regulatory Compliance here at Schneider National. And today we're going to talk about how many hours a truck driver can drive in a day. So currently under the hours of service, a truck driver is allowed to drive 11 hours uh, during a day before they need to take a break. So the 14 hour rule is the length of work day that a driver can work. So um, 14 hours after they begin their day, uh, they no longer can drive after that point. They can actually work beyond 14 hours in a day, but there is no driving after 14 hours have passed from when that day started. So the 30 minute rest break recently changed uh, here in 2020. Uh, previously, it was required to be taken off duty. Now that break can be taken uh, in any form that is a break from driving. So that could be off duty, that could be on duty non-driving work, um, or time spent in the sleeper berth. So the 70 hour rule is a 70 hours in eight days. So over the course of eight days, a truck driver is allowed to work um, so driving and non-driving work, a total of 70 hours in that eight day period, um, at which point uh, they would need a 34 hour restart or um, they would be able to use the hours that uh, become available because of that day that is rolling off on the back. So the 10 hour break um, is the daily break that typically occurs for a driver. Um, many drivers take 10 consecutive hours off duty. Under the current hours of service, they also allow um, a version up to a seven and three split. So you could do seven and three, eight and two, nine and one, or the 10 hour break. Um, with the split break, you then have to calculate your time before and after the break to ensure that you're still in compliance with the rules. Um, little tricky, uh, but some drivers do do that. At Schneider, we do not split break. We, um, we look to have the fleet do the full 10 hour consecutive rest break. The split break is complicated for many drivers to understand and calculate. Um, so it, it's just typically easier to do the 10 hour restart. Also, um, that ensures that we give our drivers proper time to get um, proper rest, uh, get a meal, uh, anything else that they may need to do at the end of the day or before beginning their day uh, the next day. So team drivers and solo drivers, each individual is still restricted to 11 hours of driving in their um, shift. However, with the team, obviously, as one is completing their rest break, the other can drive, um, which gives the effect of the, the truck continuing to move in a team operation. If a driver violates the hours of service rule, um, it depends on where that's encountered. Uh, if they are found at a roadside inspection to be in violation of the hours of service rule, um, that may result in them uh, being placed out of service until they are back in compliance with the rules. So in 2020, beyond the 30 minute rest break and the split sleeper uh, changes that we talked through, there was two other major changes. The first was to the short haul exemption. So. Under the new short haul exemption, a driver can travel up to 150 air miles from their terminal um, during the day as long as they return to that terminal and they are now allowed to work a 14 hour day. If they meet those requirements, um, they may not be required to keep an electronic log. Um, and then the, the other major change was the adverse driving rule. Um, previously, if you encountered adverse driving, um, which is something that is not known to you prior to dispatch that delays your trip, that would have normally been accomplished uh, within the hours of service rule, um, you could only extend your 11 hour drive limit. You now can also extend that 14 hour work day um, by up to two hours. Thank you for watching and if you have any questions about the hours of service, please leave them below.